Hello YouTubers, what is up? CD Man Gecka here. We're gonna get started off right away real fast with a quick sabotage game. This is about five minutes long. Flawless 28 and 0 is my final score. Gotta love that stuff. Thank um excuse me, spoiling the ending. I wanna talk about something real fast, but I got I wanna address the tactic of the gameplay. What we're doing right here is that the bomb is in the middle of the map. Um on rundown and rundown you have two halves of the map which are connected by three bridges and it's very hard to go across the bridge and push up in the enemy territory and we don't want to do that so what I decided to do I told my guys this is that guys don't push up okay we're just gonna camp the bomb I want a couple guys on the left bridge a guy watching the right bridge and then guys on the middle bridge we're just gonna stay stay here kill them because we know that these guys are aggressive they're gonna be coming at us like crazy we're just gonna kinda camp the bomb wait till we get some kill streaks. once we get some air support up then we'll make our move in that was the objective of this game You'll see how it plays out. They keep throwing down smoke and whatnot, but they cannot stop me, for I am bad FPS Russia imitator. And I'm not Russian either, so hence why it's bad. <laughs> Alright, but what I want to talk about, though, in the next four minutes of this video is I'm arguing. And I'm talking about, you know, debating and whatnot. And I've recently kind of figured out how to do it again. <laughs> uh, you guys know me in arguments. Uh, I posted the video, um... Uh, when I talked about an argument I had, which actually led me to develop a new friend, uh, YouTube user Morora, you know who I play, who I have played with um, a couple times, but I haven't gone on uh, for quite a while. But I kind of remembered how to do it, and this is a culmination of watching both the in that recent engineering for the win video that was put up on Machinima Respawn that um, has Hasbro, no, no, Hastro, excuse me, Hastro's gameplay. It's a crash domination game, and he's got Wings of Redemption, Optic Hex, Hutch, and Sam5000, I believe it was, uh, giving him some feedback there. And I just read the comment section, and, you know, once again, to my surprise, not really, Wings was getting bashed on, hated on. And then I remember that you kind of, the culmination of things came to mind, where arguing, you don't want to get, uh, there's three ways to appeal to people um, in my English class that we've been talking about. Uh, rhetoric, which is just w language to persuade and appeal to people. Three ways. Logos, ethos, pathos. Logos meaning logical, ethos meaning ethical, you know, what's right and wrong, who's good, who's bad. Pathos meaning emotional. And logical is by far the strongest one. You don't want to do a lot of um, pathos. Pa a lot of pathos results in propaganda. And, you know, something like the Nazis did, for example. Bad example, probably, but it's the one that comes to mind right now. And if you're going to go argument, you want to, you know, go the Logos way, if you will. You want to just, you know, argue with logic. You can throw in some pathos if you're trying to get sway an opinion. But basically, you want to use logic as your strongest ally and ad asset. And how do you get logic stuff? Well, provide um, information. Provide facts. Correct information. You know, a lot of people in, like, in the comment section of the video bash on wing saying, the guy had nothing but negative to say, man. He's such a freaking dickhead. Now, that, that's all... Um, emotional stuff that's all opinionated so I can't really say no wings is not a dickhead I cannot target it so a better way to do it is to draw from it let's see uh, one kid said that you know wings is you know just such a negative guy you know but I'm like ah what did I say that kid shoot can't remember hold on I'm gonna go to one I do remember where a kid said you know wings is like needs to be dick slapped or something he thinks he's the freaking best at every game and like, you know, he thinks he's freaking God at a game, and I'm just like, uh, actually, no, he isn't. The kid, the guy isn't. Um, he doesn't think so either. He has admitted on his channel openly that he sucks at playing Halo, but he's trying to get better at it. And supposedly God is good at everything, so you see the contradiction going on there? It's not exactly what I said. You can probably browse the comment section and find it right now, and I should totally be reading him right now, but <laughs> I'm not going to get on. I don't have that much time. But look for facts, look for ways that you can back up your argument, you know, with a way that kind of gets people to shut down, really. It's, um, right here, look at me, I'm just camping. Ooh. But that's just a tip, you know, go arguing and then don't get too aggressive, don't get too, you know, emotional about it. You know, just kind of keep detached and then just bring up logic, bring up facts, and then, you know, see if you can get the person to counter-argue it, you know. What's the fact that counters my fact here, buddy, alright? Where's your evidence? In that sense, I hope, I hope that makes sense to you guys. I wish I could remember those arguments right now, damn it. Let's see. Ah, oh, man. Whatever, I'm gonna move on to the commentary. This game is what I want to talk about, but... <laughs> I do have some beasts and stuff here. Roar! And this guy's up coming up behind me. I'm just trying to move around a bit. I think I get... Yeah, I get my Predator double spray, actually. I die right here, though. 
guys come out of nowhere. I mean, they're spawning right on B. This is a good game. I believe it was competitive. Uh, I don't know if these guys were a bunch of randoms or if they were a small party of sorts, but I mean, it was a tough time. These guys, they were really aggressive. You know, they had a noob tuber here. They had, it's just, and a very aggressive team is really tough. I mean, look, look at these guys. They're trying to dominate us, which is a dumb move to do. If they had just gotten post and tried to spawn trap, it would have been better, but anyway, look at that. This kid just sucked. <laughs> and then look at that. Proof of it. Martyrdom. In order to get Martyrdom, you have to dive like three, four times to do that. You have to lack Hangai Coronation and lose four gunfights. Proof that he sucks, alright? Plus, I had a time to empty out an AK-47 clip at him. Proof more that he has lack of skill. See, I'm presenting you information, facts here, alright? I'm not just saying he sucks and then get all emotional. Can I see what I mean about arguing? And why am I bringing this up? Just because you, you can have debates. And also, be sure to be a pleasant person when you argue. Um, a guy left a good comment, you know, this guy saying, you know, Wings is, you know, a jerk to, you know, whatnot. I mean, you know... You know, he's got crap between this guy, the, like, the guy who camps, the YouTube uh, user. And, you know, another guy told them that, you know, the only real crap that's happened between them is that the Wings left a negative comment and he got blocked. And, you know, there's a fact right there. And the guy didn't respond to that. Another kid called him, you know, wow, you're dumb. And then it was just a, it was a whole emotional argument. Like, oh, shut up, you jerk, or whatever it was. I left a comment saying, you know, you didn't respond to another argument that, you know, provided evidence that counteracted your statement. And you didn't respond to that. Smart, but kind of pathetic. And the guy said, actually, that comment didn't even appear in my uh, Dropbox. I'm like, oh, my bad. In that case, let me apologize for being in, uh, for assuming something and making an ass out of myself. I use that old joke, see? I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. You know, I, I just backed off. I'm saying, all right, honest mistake. It's fine. Let me, re you know, he voided my argument because it was invalid. He didn't see it. He can't really come back to anything if he doesn't see it. You know, you guys get what I'm saying? Only reason why I'm doing this is because I feel like you guys should know how to argue, and I enjoyed a bit. I enjoy watching Mr. Rice argue with the students as well. He always wins. He always knows how to argue, and that, watching him do it reminded me how you do it. Anyways, I know I said I'd talk about this uh, Skid Row game, but at this point, I'm just like, uh-uh, I want to talk about arguing. <laughs> why do you want to talk about arguing? Well, no. <laughs> I have no idea. I'm just, I'm hopped up on Dr. Pepper Cherry with a kiss. Let's see. Alright, but now, we noticed that we couldn't get B. In Domination, it's ideal that you want to get A, well, B, some other flag, and then spawn trap the enemy at whatever flag easiest to do. Skid Row, A is probably a little easier to handle, because it doesn't spawn quite so close to uh, C, and also, air support can devastate back here in this parking lot that I'm in. But, as we were going along, we noticed they were all spawning on B, they were just camping, well, I mean, not camping it, but they were just really, really pissy about losing B. So, uh, you saw me earlier, I swung around and grabbed A, and we got them in the AC split, just to keep us in the game, and then it actually became the tactic that we enforced throughout the rest of the game, it's just like, alright, I had a red eye camp up there, um, in the building with his noob tube, uh, you know, protecting A, watching the tunnel, A was easy to protect, and you know, I'm making sure that we don't lose C, we, I think only we need to, I think only one guy stayed at A, and that was red eye, everybody else, you know, just kinda stayed on a C. But we knew we couldn't take B. Actually, right here I tried for the B grab, but it, again, it's just so congested right there. Instead of going right back into the fire and flames, let's go around and, you know, try and keep him there. And actually, having A and C on Skid Row, I think, is a viable option. Because the other spawn right on the B flag, and then they're going to have to, or at the stairway, or on the sidewalk right here. Actually, I don't think they'll spawn sidewalk, but then they have to go out some way to get into C. There's a lot of points you can set up and watch them from the, you know, watch the stairway tunnel and keep them there. Actually, let's see, I think I, try. <laughs> here I am going for B again, and then, oh, uh, yeah, because see, we're, we almost tied it up right there, I think we did for a second, then they got the C flag on us, but at this point, I think, uh, I know we did, but I think right around in about maybe a minute or two, we decide, guys, let's just keep A and C, we'll keep them at B, and because they're, they're in the middle of the map, and so all you really need, though, to defend A is one guy. Because if they spawn tunnel, they're going to come out tunnel. They're not going to really, you know, go through the parking lot at it towards A. So, I mean, you'll get a lot of just very straightforward approach. And right here, let's see, I get this guy barely. I'm just dancing on A. I don't want to go prone. I want to keep moving. I want to be looking everywhere. I want to be active. I don't want to get lethargic on C. A Semtex comes in there. I want to be able to book it out, take out the guy who tried to kill me. I want to be able to dodge bullets for a bit. A little smart uh, flag grab right there. So now I'm trying to take control of this back building. This back building is important. Let's see. I'm waiting for a guy. I know if there's going to be a guy around C, he's going to be trying to cap C. So I'm just going to try and stay in this building the best I can. And make sure that, you know, if I, I've set off some signals. I'm going to be waiting for guys. Oh, I check this out. Ah, he gets me with his claymore, but, you know, I get him. 
can see this is right I spawned right by ride shield guy and I'm running the other way because I got hit by I got I got side swiped kind of so now basically I mean you're pouring out though I mean this team was really aggressive I mean, it was, it, this is a very competitive game, and I actually wind up pulling a very decent score. It's decent, they say. We got UAV up. UAVs for the win, guys. At least four guys from the team running a UAV, in my opinion. Actually, in Black Ops, there's a kill streak. The eighth kill streak. It's called, like, I can't remember, but it's sort of like it's like the stealth bomber thing. It's not a car bomb though. What it does is that it's a super UAV. All right. Basically, instead of it shows you where the enemies are at all times. There's no pulsating map thing. It shows you where the enemies are in real time, and then shows you where they're moving. It's an eighth kill streak, and that you know, you get eight kills. I believe you deserve a super radar. All right. <laughs> Granted, you have to camp for that kind of a thing, but even then, I guess that makes it even more valuable. You can't shoot it down because it's in space. I don't know how long it lasts. I imagine 30 to 45 seconds, maybe a minute. A minute would be pushing it, but if you get eight kills in Black Ops, when there's no kill streaks building up, a minute would probably be lenient. So actually, if you go to Call of Duty, oh, call type into your um, uh, internet URL bar, Call of Duty Wikia. It'll take you to this place called Wikiki, like Wikipedia Call of Duty, where it's just Call of Duty, and it gives you so much stuff. You can look up the perks, their symbols, guns in the game. I mean, the things. Are, I looked up the killstreaks there, and I was like, oh sweet. So I have some information right there. That's where I got it. Might be inaccurate, inaccurate, but I think it's accurate. It seems reasonable. Anyways, now they're on C again, and we can't. I, mean, I don't want to lose C because okay, we got A, and that's their whole goal to spawn trap us at A. So I'm coming over here. I'm looking for the dude, spraying. I'm just you know looking for hit markers, and we get that guy. And now let's see. I'm calling my predator missile uh, for a couple reasons. I'm just trying to see where they're coming from, and also it helps me build up my kill streak. And I got a Harrier, and now I'm gonna call it on C because these guys are hell bent for C. I mean, they're spawning in the middle of the map. The closest map they can th that is there is C. So why not go to C? That's why you don't really need a guy in A. If you need the, if you have the AC split going on, it help. You should have at least one guy, but you don't need like half the team or whole team there. I get on the turret and try to do some work. Get one guy, pull off. Oh, died right before my payload, but that's fine. I was able to, you know, hold him off a bit. G18 bling, akimbo with silencer. Hmm, that's questionable. Throwing out a claymore because I just want to keep people out of my base. <laughs> you know what I mean? My hair is doing some work, but at this point, I think we kind of secured it. We've got a bigger lead right now. We're, we're we're holding on to A and C pretty damn well at this point. But it's still they're still hell bent on getting out of there. I mean, one thing that is tough to beat is an aggressive team. Although it doesn't really give you good scores, it does help you win the game if you have like six guys just barreling down at one point. But no defense also hurts you in the long run. So it's just some sort of balance to it. But even then, it's just like these guys. We weren't going for B, so why defend B? They're just trying to push out and break out the spawn. And now, actually, me and my teammate here actually kind of gang up on this point. No, no, we don't. Whoa. No, wait, that was a demolition game. Excuse me. I'm, I'm misthinking right here. And, oh, look what happened. I got off C, and they got C now. And I'm like, oh, shoot. And now I'm running low on bolts. I'm pulling out the Akimbos, G18s. Can't wait to get those puppies myself so I can just equip it on the class. You know, but it's, now I'm not going to make it the jump for C immediately. I want some team support, but I also want to make sure that there's no enemies nearby. You know, I can watch them and make sure that they're, you know, not all going to be pouring down and on me. Teammates coming that way. That area is clear, so now I can just grab C. We have the AC-130 up to, which helped out a bit. Air support, even though on Skid Row it's not too effective, it will generally get people to shell up somewhere. And right here, we actually get B at this point. You know, we finally got the goal of getting B. We broke them down. But no sooner do we get it than are they on it once again. And so I'm just, you know, like... <laughs> Go up there with my AK-47, just blindly spray. FMJ. Is this point? Oh, right here. We got a guy on C. I'm like, guy on C, guys. Guy on C. Oh, I got him. Never mind. <laughs> I'm like, I was thinking, you know, that was pretty damn sexy. <laughs> you know, just like, woo, boom, skill joy. And now I'm just spraying down here, trying to fight some guys off. And oh, well, watch this BS. Hold on, this part ticked me off. Oh, stun. Look at this, alright, look this way. And then there's a guy who's shooting at me right here. He's new to me. I'm escaped. I got out of the way, so he thinks I'm gone. Fade out. Come back in. Now watch this. Flashbang. I'm still spraying the whole time. I'm still spraying. And he finally gets me after emptying out my whole clip. <sighs> Final stand BS, but whatever. In the end, what's important? We won. Alright. Then anyways, running out of time here on the commentary, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. That's some uh, some very loose tips on argument. If you guys arguing, excuse me. If you guys want some a clearer discussion about it, let me know in the comments. I'll happily redo a commentary and solely focus on that. Anyways, thank you. Goodbye.